Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for joining. So today, yeah, we're going to uh, make a silicone wheelchair assist threshold ramp. And uh, we're going to use a technique that I think will solve a lot of needs uh, when you think about it. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make the mold and show you how I made this particular one because it's a bit uh, interesting in that it is at an angle. The back side is 5 eighths of an inch and there is no front side because it goes to zero. And we're going to pour it and hold it up at an angle so that uh, it has nice and flat across the top. I'm also going to show you how to thin the silicone and in this video we're going to use mineral spirits because a lot of you folks have asked, can we do it? Well, we're going to show you how that's done. What we need to make the mold is simply a piece of uh, foam board and a little bit of duct tape. I'm going to show you how I made this in particular. As you can see, not only does it go from 5 eighths to 0, it is also at an angle. Now, the reason for that is that I've made so that one wheel will touch before the other one does, thereby reducing the need or the force needed to propel even less. All right, so let's get started. So here's a close-up of the threshold that we want to build our ramp over. Um, silicone is an ideal solution in this application because we can mold it to any shape that we want. In this case, we want to go from 0 to 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, silicone continues to provide a grip and remains spongy for years. And so what you see here is the prototype and we're going to make our final version today. I've held this down temporarily with duct tape, which uh, is holding it, but it's not the best solution because as you can see, the mineral spirits is causing the glue or the adhesive of the duct tape to dissolve and it's beginning to track and leave uh, marks. So we're gonna have to clean that up once we finish our project. All right, so because it would be quite boring to watch me make this, I'm going to fast forward through a few key points and I'm going to use this. And uh, we'll get us through that part uh, real quick and then we'll be back. All right, so we've got this made, and we're going to set this back and begin making the mix. Now I'm going to supply a calculation in the uh, description for how to uh, fill a volume. Okay, but we're going to move on, and we are going to weigh the silicone and the cornstarch so that we have, for 100 grams, of silicone we have 10 grams of cornstarch we're going to need this because we're going to pour a little bit thick in the back we're going to need the cornstarch to help cure it all right so let's grab the uh, ziploc squeeze this out into the bag 
by weight and then add this. After that, we're going to add by eye the mineral spirits. I thought I'd show you uh, how easily this stuff peels out of this container here. This container is uh, a Nalgene plastic. Uh, pretty much nothing sticks to it. It's uh, designed for uh, use to hold uh, chemicals uh, and uh, strong acids, that sort of thing. And uh, interestingly enough, now, uh, you know, Ziploc bags. Uh, the silicone will peel out of those as well. So once you're done, you can reuse this stuff. So and it peels right out. Uh, the same for the gloves that I have here. It uh, it take a little bit of work, but this stuff, the silicone peels right out of it. All right. So this is a, a bit of a mistake, and it's because I added the components in the wrong order. What I did was I added the uh, corn starts to the silicone and then I put in the mineral spirits and uh, wherever you see all these bumps well that's where the corn starts cured the silicone quickly and then it became a very lumpy uh,
product. Uh, this in this situation is probably a, a uh, mistake, and I'm going to remake it with uh, the mineral spirits added to the silicone first. But I wanted to show you this particularly to the artist because. Uh, as I was beginning to peel this up, it sort of looks like you could do something with this as an artist. Uh, one thought that I had is if you painted these bumps sort of black and gray and that sort of thing, <laughs> you may very well make a uh, rock covered or a snow covered uh, rocks or something, mountain, that sort of thing. So, and this peeled right out of this mold, so thankfully I can reuse this mold again. So what I'm going to do is add the silicone and then the mineral spirits and then I'm going to come back and add the uh, 10 to 1 ratio of cornstarch to silicone to cure it. So we're going to mix that up now. And I'm reusing these gloves as you can see the silicone it peels right off. So you can reuse many things. And I, uh, you can use a caulk gun, but I mix up a lot of silicone and I have learned that, uh, out of desperation that the handle of a spoon used as a plunger will get the silicone out, uh, very fast, way faster than the caulk gun itself. So that's what we're going to do here. And I'm going to cut this back as far as I can. And I am going to pierce that little foil seal that you see inside there. And then simply force it out into the container. Okay, so to finish the preparation for pouring, let's put our little Teflon sheets back up here. All right, so there we have it. And uh, about an hour later, because we added the cornstarch, uh, fully cured uh, to virtually any depth. I've poured silicone as deep as two inches, and it has cured with the cornstarch in an hour at the ratios that I gave. Um, very nice ramp here, and uh, an idea and simply involves nothing more than mixing the uh, components differently. In this, I added the cornstarch to the silicone and it created uh, dry pockets right away before I thinned it. And in this, I added the mineral spirits to the silicone, thinned it out very well, and then added the cornstarch. There we are. Okay. Uh, silicone, incredibly versatile stuff. Uh, imagination <laughs> you got plenty of that so uh, 
Thanks for joining. Bye-bye now.